Enteropathic arthropathy. This is the last one of the seronegative spondyloarthropathies. And the seronegative spondyloarthropathies have a negative RF, RF factor, but a positive HLA B27. That's kind of the characteristics of these spondyloarthropathies. And so enteropathic arthropathy is the last one. Uh, by definition, it's an arthritis secondary to inflammatory bowel disease of so Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. So if you have ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, uh, patients are at a higher risk to get this enteropathic arthropathy. The etiology is some kind of bacterial infection. Epidemiology um, is males get it greater than females, and they get a peripheral arthritis that occurs in 10 to 20 percent of the patients with those conditions. The clinical manifestations of enteropathic arthropathy are asymmetrical joint involvement like psoriatic arthritis, but ankylosing spondylitis and Ryder syndrome, they can have bilateral. You get synovitis, inflammation of the synovial membrane or the synovial lining in the peripheral joints. It can be monoarticular or polyarticular, so it could do one or several. It usually hits the large joints, the knees, the ankles, the feet, and you get sacroiliitis. The peripheral arthritis will subside once the Crohn's disease and the ulcerative colitis kind of get managed or go away. And so you can also have extra articular manifestations, not as common as the arth arthritic changes, obviously, but you can get changes that are outside of the joints. You can get what's called erythema nodosa, and this is uh, erythema is a reddening of the skin, and nodosa is nodule, so it's red nodule. And this usually happens in Crohn's. And here I have a picture of this. And they can see how the, you're getting these red kind of nodules here on the shins. It most happens on the lower extremity. And so that's erythema nodosa. Or you get pyoderm graniosum. And I, won't, I am going to have to warn you, this it can be a little nasty, this picture. So if you don't like it, uh, push stop. <laughs> So here you kind of see you're getting these ulcers in the legs. And if you Google some of these pictures, they are very nasty. And so this is what they call pyoderma graniosa or graniosum. And that happens in ulcerative colitis. And pyo is pus, derma skin. And it's a graniose uh, pussing of the skin and so you can get a lot of a lot of pus and a lot of painful ulcers. You can get painful deep ulcers in your mouth. You can get uveitis and you can lose uh, get a fever and definitely lose weight during these bowel episodes. The lab test is you'd have anemia, you have an increased ESR and C-reactive protein which just tells you that uh, something's going on. You like like I said, in the seronegative spondyloarthropathies, the classic, classic lab test results are a negative rheumatoid factor. And in this case, it has to be a negative ANA. And you get a positive anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies, 60% of the case. And that's also called anti-myeloperoxidase. You have an increased incident with, of course, HLA-B27.